you think of a haunted house, how could you not bring up the Amityville house with its tragic mystique that haunts people's thoughts to this day, whether it was a hoax or something real? Ronald DeFeo Jr. murdering his entire family allegedly around 3.15 in the morning. All the victims were face down in their beds, strangely, leading to the ever popular book to movie produced story of the Lutz family in the Amityville Horror, who claimed they ran from the same house because of a diabolical haunting they endured. I've wondered about this myself, and now I too have had personal experiences involving this house and story. I wrote about this in my second book, Shadow Chaser, The In-Between. There's some other videos on my channel about this regarding no proof of that. But I recently was in the area and decided to do an impromptu ITC session with a couple of devices I use for spirit communication by the house. This is what was said. Affair. He is something you? Determine. Can you tell me who poked me in the back three times last night? 20. Cellar. The cellar. What about the cellar? The house. The house. I think it just said the house. Lend. What about the house? Wonder why George still follows me and references and comes through. You should go. You should go. You mean leave? Answer. Why should I go? Because? There's a demon in there. Did you hear that? There's a demon in there. The household fight? Mostly. What's the name of the pig? Lee, what did your daughter call the pig? With the red eyes. That sounds like him. What did your daughter call the pig with the red eyes? Her imaginary friend. Pig. You heard that? Again? My home. Out for revenge. That sounded like George. I don't know what it said, but that sounded like his voice. Why does the demon want revenge? That's in The Necronomicon, also known as the Book of the Dead or of Dark Magic. There is talk from some that Ronald DeFeo Jr. used dark satanic magic, but no definitive proof of that. Is this a potential clue? The revenge it speaks of, I believe it refers to my involvement from what took place having to do with 
one of the little DeFeo boy's spirit. After praying for him initially one day by his grave, This drawing here depicts a vision of what I saw after I prayed for the boy. I yelled out to these three shadow figures on the top of the stairs to the second floor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to let this boy John go. A piano from an adjacent room then was thrown at me. I then felt the jolt in my bed and awoke to a black mist flying through my ceiling. Looked to my phone to see the time was 3.15 in the morning, the time of the murders. This was one of many unsettling things that occurred, which you can read about in my second book, Shadow Chaser, The In-Between. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.